Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and tonight for dinner we are having breakfast. I'm going to fry up these Vermont maple flavored pork sausage links. Got my pan heating up. We're going to have some waffles, so I'm going to get my dry ingredients measured out. I need two cups of all-purpose flour. And then I need two tablespoons of white sugar. Four teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to whisk these together. I need to separate two egg yolks. this on so it can or plug it in so it can start warming up <clears throat> then I need one and three quarters cup of milk and a half a cup of melted butter And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to whisk this up. Okay, now for the egg whites. I'm going to whip them for a couple minutes until they get frothy. Okay. 
Now we're going to fold these into this waffle mix. That looks like they're folded in good. This is about the only time I use cooking spray anymore is when I make waffles. Let these cook. Add a little bit of oil to the pan. Okay, our first batch of waffles looks done. Oh, with that cinnamon in here, these really smell good. I'm going to get a couple more cooked up. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, I just took our sausage links out of the pan. They're done. We're going to have some strawberries with our supper tonight. And second batch of waffles looks good. some syrup on this. We don't need butter since there was a half a cup in the batter. There you have it. Sausage links and waffles and strawberries. That is our dinner tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon friends. Happy Tuesday. Tonight I am making cheesy beef taquitos. I need to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. In here I have a half a pound of cooked taco meat. So I just have to get it warmed up again. And here I have two ounces of cream cheese. Put that in here. Cube it up a little bit.
and I need a quarter cup of salsa. We're using our Pace Chunky Salsa. I am only doing half the recipe, but I'll have the original link for you below in the description box. I've made these before, they're really good. Gotta get that cream cheese melted. And I need a quarter cup of sour cream. Okay, I'll bring you back when this cream cheese has melted. Okay, my mixture here is hot. Cream cheese has melted. So now I'm going to add about a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to let this melt. Okay, here I have tortilla shells that I wrapped in a damp paper towel and stuck in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to make them more pliable. Now I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of this mixture and I'm going to roll it up tight seam side down on the baking dish. And then these are going to go in the 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until they're crispy. So I will bring you back at that time. Okay friends, our taquitos are done. They were in for 12 minutes. These are looking good. a little bit of diced onion on here. And some chopped lettuce. some of our Ortega taco sauce also. And we're going to have grapes with this. That is our simple supper for tonight. Homemade beef taquitos. These are good. I'll have the recipe linked for you below. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I am making a homemade tuna helper. In here, I'm bringing water to a boil for four ounces of egg noodles. In here, I am heating up about a tablespoon of olive oil. 
because <clears throat> I need to cook up some onions and carrots. So I'm just going to cook these carrots. It's one carrot that I chopped up and some chopped onion. And then I'm going to cook my egg noodles according to package direction. So then I will bring you back when I'm ready for the next step with this. Okay, my carrots have cooked for several minutes. They're getting tender. And Sophie's waiting for the can of tuna to lick out. Right now I'm adding a tablespoon of flour. I'm going to give this a stir and cook that raw flour taste out of here. Okay. Now I'm going to whisk in one and a third cups of milk. Sophie, you have to be patient. Sophie likes licking her tuna can out. I shouldn't have opened it, but I did. Okay, now I'm going to add two ounces of cream cheese. And I'm going to cube it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of frozen peas and a squirt of Dijon mustard. About a half a tablespoon. Better add this tuna so she can have the can. Putting in a four ounce can of drained tuna. Yep. Yep, here you go. Here you go. Noodles are just about there. Okay, I'm going to drain these. And add them to this. Our dinner is ready. Homemade tuna helper. I've made this recipe before and it is really good. I will have it linked for you below in the description box. I did only do half of the recipe. There it is. Homemade tuna helper and refrigerated pickles. That is our dinner tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.